The House of Representatives have urged the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission to immediately review the remuneration of judicial officers in line with present economic realities. The House explained that the review is necessary considering that the salaries were last reviewed in 2007 when the dollar was 124 naira to one dollar, adding that 13 years after the salary review, judicial officers had been on low incomes. The House also urged the federal government to, in line with judicial autonomy a seat to the increase in statutory transfer to the judiciary in the coming fiscal year. It is unfair, unconscionable, unjust and unrealistic that in the face of the several restrictions on the conduct of judicial officers, the judicial officers receive meager salary when compared with prevalent economic realities, thereby rendering them vulnerable to corruption. Also aware that the budget for the judiciary has remained at 110 billion since 2019, while the total budget size has continued to grow, leading to gross underfunding and neglect of the judiciary over the years, which have affected productivity, increased frustration, and deflated the morale, the morale of judicial officers and staff. Cognizant of the enormous and expanding responsibilities of the judiciary, Owing to the country's increasing population of over 200 million people and the attendance financial implications for building new courts and refurbishing the existing ones, aimed at greater access to justice by the people for effective and efficient service delivery. Also cognizance of the judiciary as an independent arm of government, the executive does not have the constitutional power to reduce or review the budget of the judiciary but only to submit to the National Assembly the exact budget as proposed by the judiciary in consonance with the Constitution and constitutional practices of advanced democracy. 